Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial Episode 16. Today we're going to go over how to pre-populate or how to populate a custom taxonomy or taxonomy inside WordPress. Before we get started, I would encourage you to subscribe either to the podcast in iTunes on the site by clicking on the podcast link or to the general RSS feed so that you don't miss any of the updates. So to start with today, what we're going to do is build a plugin for our custom taxonomy. We're going to build a plugin that adds US states to our WordPress posts. If you've never built a WordPress plugin, the best place to start is to go to codex.wordpress.org and view the plugins page. This is also linked in the blog post for this episode. Uh, you can see it's got a ton of resources here, how to write a plugin, the plugin API, and plugin resources. So let's start by looking at some code. So I've already written this plugin. And what we have here to start out is from lines 2 to 10 is our basic plugin header. This is all the stuff that WordPress requires to be in the top of the plugin for it to actually, uh, I guess, register on the site. If this stuff isn't here, then the plugin may not show up. So we've got the plugin name, WP Theme Tutorial US States, the plugin URI, so you can actually get this on GitHub if you'd like as well. Uh, there's a description for the plugin, the version number, who the author is, how you can get a hold of the author, and the plugin license. And then we have uh, from 12 to 26, we have the GPL license stuff. So that's the basics. Let's actually dig into our plugin. So I've created a folder called WP Theme Tutorial States. You can see right there under my WP Content Plugins WP Theme Tutorial States. And inside that, I've created a file called WP Theme Tutorial States.php. So we start off by needing to register our taxonomy. And we do that with the register taxonomy function. You can see we're running it on the init action and we're running the theme TWP custom taxonomies function. And that function starts by defining the labels for our states. We want to make sure that they, all the UI reads properly for our users. And then we go to register taxonomy. And this is the registered taxonomy name. And then we define what post type we want it for. So since we're using the default WordPress posts, we simply put posts. If we wanted to have a custom post type here, then we would do like that. Now I'd register it for both post types. Now we define it as hierarchical. That means it's going to act like categories, so you can have child parent relationships. We pass in our arguments from the, or our labels. We're going to show the the very sorry. We're going to show it the UI uh, in the admin. You can actually hide it if you want and do a custom UI. Uh, then you have to deal with how the user is going to edit it and, and all that stuff, though. Um, then we also have our query bar, and we're going to define our slug. We want the slug to be state. One thing to remember when you define a custom post type or custom taxonomy is that you need to go into the WordPress settings and the permalinks and technically only need to view the page, but you should just resave it. That's what I always do. So now we're going to get into the real meat uh, of what we're going to do today. What we want to do is to pre-populate our US states so that our user doesn't have to enter them all in on their own. So I've written in a, a function here, or adding an action to my init, and I'm going to call theme t wp default terms, which calls this function here theme t wp default terms. First thing we want to do is on line 79, what we're doing is we're using get terms to see if we have any terms in our state. We don't want to run this every time necessarily. Um, so I'm double checking to make sure that we don't have any terms. And if we don't have any terms, we're going to start to run through and build our terms. For the sake of simplicity of our function, um, and because there's a lot of states and stuff for the US, I have abstracted all the states into a separate function, which you can see lower. See, I've listed all of them here. I basically just build an array, a nested array, and then I return it as states. So I call that here, which makes my states variable equal to that large array we just looked at, and I'm going to loop through them. 
So I loop through each state as state and making sure the term doesn't exist in our taxonomy with the term exists uh, condition. And then I'm going to call WP insert term. So WP insert term, the first thing we do is we define the name of our term, and then we define the taxonomy you want to add it to, and then there's some optional parameters. You can define the description, the parent, and the slug. So I don't really care about the description, and there's no real parent relationship inside um, US states, so I'm just going to define the slug, and I'm defining that as short. So if we go back down and we just take Alaska for example, so the name was defined as Alaska and the short was defined as AK. And that's basically it um, for adding the US states to it. And now if we do look at some of our functions, and we'll look at this. And now I've gone over these parameters as well. You can see there's no description for disc or no descriptions for description, slug, and parent. Um, so for description, you'd find that under the WordPress admin, and we'll just jump in and go to categories. So right here, you'd find the description right there, or if we edit a term, description. And you can see we also can define slug and parent. So this has no parent right now. We can define all three of those in there. Um, the parent needs the actual term ID, which can create some issues when you're creating all your terms all at once, because you need to create your parents first, and then you need to create your children uh, based off the parent IDs. That's it. Uh, let's go in, and since I have my plugin here, I see my WP Theme Tutorial US States plugin. I'm going to activate it. And go to Post, and you can see I have State here. And I've got my states defined. So if I go to a post, I can edit it. And you can see that I have my states have showed up in the WordPress admin right there. That's it. That's how you can register taxonomy and pre-populate it with WP insert term. Thanks for watching.